My name is Angelo Cagliotti. I'm currently a visiting lecturer here at UC Berkeley. I did my PhD here, I finished in August 2017, and I was a Max Weber postdoctoral fellow at the European University Institute in Florence last year. I will be joining the history department at Barnard uh, College at uh, Columbia University uh, in 2020 with a position in European history, history of science and environmental history. And my research is really at the intersection of these three fields. The DE in uh, STS was really critical in terms of uh, allowing me to develop these three fields together. So in terms of my research, I work especially in the history of uh, colonialism, uh, European colonialism, from the angle of scientific experts and environmental uh, sciences. So this by, by nature was really a very interdisciplinary type of research that I could really sort of come up with and develop um, because of the training that I received, uh, not just in the history of science, but also in uh, STS more broadly. And the research questions, um, also the approach that I learned over time was very much informed by um, sharing my research with uh, other DE students, other um, uh, scholars here interested in STS, especially in um, sociology, anthropology of science, um, and uh, really everyone was interested in environmental sciences. So a lot of the concepts that inform my research, such as uh, technopolitics, um, technopolitical regimes, are at the intersection of these uh, different fields of uh, geography, um, again, sociology, history, and also, of course, there's been a major framing for my teaching experience. The classes I've been teaching are at the intersection of European history and history of science. So, for example, I taught last semester a class on uh, science and fascism that clearly is at the intersection of these two fields. Uh, I'm currently teaching a class on climate and history. There's even more environmental history and STS kind of component. I think the CSTMS community was really helpful really over the years to uh, inform my questions and really I think to um, sometimes push me you know beyond the um, limits and the intellectual comfort zone of uh, my own department and so really the challenge but also the opportunity to have to say explain my research to um, scholars and colleagues uh, other graduate students um, in different fields. It's something that proved very helpful later on, especially, for example, the job market or during uh, my postdoctoral um, uh, research at the European University Institute, where basically every time you need to talk with experts in other disciplines, you need to be able to translate uh, your skills and your interest in, um, in the language of the social sciences. Uh, beyond, in my case, history or other disciplines. So that really is something that I learned to do step by step um, here. It was this, the CSTMS community was very much the place to um, develop this training that you wouldn't normally get in your own department. That's definitely the biggest asset for me uh, over the years in, uh, in uh, being part of the community here. I think one of the um, Definitely one of the most beneficial aspects of uh, being part of a community like CSTMS is really the interdisciplinary, mm -hmm. um, uh, not just training, but also, um, again, um, the way contemporary academia works. It really is crucial to be able to establish connections and collaborations across departments, across fields. Uh, and so really a community like CSTMS is a fantastic place um, to learn how to do that. For example, uh, in the class that I taught um, on the history of the life sciences last semester, I invited um, uh, Santiago Molina, who is also affiliated with the center, but in sociology, to talk about his con research on contemporary um, the, the, um, genetic engineering uh, here on campus. So that was something that it definitely enriched uh, my my classroom, for example, it really allowed me to build. Uh, being here allowed me to build an alliance, if you want, mm -hmm. with people um, again in sociology, geography, anthro, um, and um, so that's it, that really is a unique aspect of uh, joining an interdisciplinary community, and it's something that uh, really uh, pays off uh, th uh, even after finishing the PhD, even more actually. <laughs>